Go for it. All right, what's up, fellas? Doing uh, another review. This time on some improvised uh, waxwood uh, scrim sticks. These are two feet long. I took uh, two six-foot waxwood staffs and just decided to uh, to turn them into two footers. You just get up here real close so you could, I guess, check them out. Uh, they're very, very sturdy. Uh, I did this for the same reason, uh, you know, as uh, as the other staffs uh, that I got the other staffs in waxwood. I was using uh, scrim sticks, and I don't know what was going on. Just that wood would just chew up really, really quickly. Um, I liked the uh, cold steel ones, but I also wanted some wooden sticks, you know, uh, just for the hell of it. And uh, I don't know what the deal was with that rattan, man. It just it peels off like literally like a banana. I, I don't know what was going on there. Uh, so I converted, uh, you know, I converted, uh, I converted two six-foot waxwood staffs. Uh, I, I, I turned them into a, a set of two and a half foot uh, scrim sticks and uh, two foot scrim sticks. So, uh, real interesting, uh, real interesting note. Um, oh, by the way, the specifications are they are two feet long. They're real good thrasher sticks, I guess you could say. Um, the Filipinos were very, uh, they've always been very uh, ingenious, I guess, when it comes to weapons. Um, the, scrim, the scrim stick basically served as a, one of the first trainers, I guess, for uh, Filipinos. Instead of just giving a, a warrior in training a live blade, they would cut off a two-piece length of wood, rattan, uh, respectfully, and he would use that to, uh, you know, to become efficient with the blade, so he could know how to, you know, how to fight with a, a, a long uh, bladed weapon. And when they saw that he was efficient enough, they would go ahead and give him an actual blade. But somewhere down the line. They kind of stopped for a second. They took a good look at these sticks and said, wait a minute. I think we could use these as weapons too. And just like that, it became a weapon. So, uh, you know, real, real interesting story of, you know, the Filipinos and just their, their history and weapons. Very, very, very interesting read, I, I guess you could uh, say. So there are a, there's an array of different double stick drills you could do. Uh, I Oh, yeah, that's another reason I also converted these. Rattan is very, very light. Waxwood is a little more dense. And I am trying to, you know, just tone myself up. But, um... <clears throat> okay. Um, there's an array of, uh, of drills that you could do for double sticks. Uh, I guess my favorite one and the one that keeps me in real good shape is, of course, Heaven Six real easy. If you want to check out the actual uh, a slower kind of tutorial, I guess you could call it, check out my review on uh, Cold Steel's uh, scrim sticks. Um, I guess just a real quick version is left arm tuck, right arm like so. It's one, two, three. You're in the same position but in reverse and it's one, two, three. Just swing, pull back, tuck, Swing, pull back, tuck. You know, you do this with really dense sticks for about maybe uh, 10 minutes a day. You know, it's going to work your arms out real good. Another thing I do is, you know, this works out my, uh, my arms pretty well. Uh, even though I don't have any on, I do recommend some fingerless gloves just so you have a real good uh, grip on these sticks. Uh, some waxwood sticks come very, very smooth, and of course you don't want the damn thing to, to fly out of your hand and, uh, you know, hit the neighbor's dog or something crazy like that. So, um, that's another drill I do. I also do a...
All right, that was just a little bit of freestyling. But uh, all in all, these are great sticks. I highly recommend if if getting uh, waxwood uh, scrim sticks is in the cards, if you know where to get some, do definitely do that. And if not, it's relatively easy to do. I just recommend buying two identically shaped uh, sticks to ensure that you get the right sizes. I mean, obviously, you don't want to get a stick that's really thick and one that's really thin because when you do these kinds of drills, it's just going to kind of feel a little awkward. So uh, just something you might want to consider if you decide to do what I've done. And I guess that's just about it. Uh, questions or comments, y'all know the drill. Peace out, fellas.